up ahead on this hole, Manacero, fourth shot. Uh, is it going to come round? Is it going to come? Is it going to come? It's starting to. We'll keep running. Keep going. That could go in. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, what a wonderful piece of imagination from Matteo Manasero. It went sideways into the hole. And how was that beautiful smile? <laughs> sort of Sevieska smile, isn't it? <laughs> Lights up the room. What a shot. Look at this. I and mean, you look at him and you think, where the heck are you going? What are you doing? I mean, no chance there. You lost it? the plot? Absolutely no chance. And then... Oh, the visualisation, the imagination. It's definitely one of the shots of the day right there. Looks to be on a similar line. On the surface, but he what has the do now, is he? bunker between him and the hole. This is this is the problem, though, Dom. You know, when you put a you put a bunker in the middle of the green, you're going to have to expect divots out of your lovely putting surfaces, because there's only one thing you can do here, and that's use a wedge. Is it Michael Hoey? I think it is. It is. Excellent ex-player. Yeah, what do you win? Four Morgan? or five times? Yeah, yeah, no. Michael was a heck of a player. And he's found his niche down the the rule side of the game. Morgie, what oh. on earth is is he wondering whether he's he's allowed to take a divot because he is. Oh, no, it's, it's the bunker, you know, it's uh, I think we've far side of the course. I think we might have just lost Morgy. Well, he, was, he was trying to say something about the bunker. So mm. perhaps he's worried about the, maybe the raking of the bunker or something like that, which he, he wouldn't be oh. entitled to rake the bunker before maybe. he plays. He's got his caddy standing by with the rake, hasn't he? I think can he right. rake the bunker before he plays? No. I can't believe he can. We'll find out in a moment. So, Soderberg over the bunker. The thing is, you, you know, you're trying to just skim the surface. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bunker in the middle of the green. Nothing at all. That was worth waiting for, wasn't that? <laughs> Splendid. Wow. <laughs> And as you said, he just, he didn't, I don't think he even took a divot. No. He just clipped it off the top of the grass. You look at this. Just not, didn't even bruise the grass. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was going to bite too. I think, that, you know, that was going to bite on the sort of third or fourth bounce, maybe go six feet by, but this is the bonus. Yeah, it's gripping. It's gripping. <laughs> Take it out the middle. That's all that matters. He's pretty good at this, Marcel. Come on, please, no divots on new greens. Hello. I think that was the plan, because it was well left of the flag. It sounded like he got sort of turf slightly before the ball. Yeah, that was definitely his plan, use the backstop. I think bizarrely it was actually probably the percentage play which looked like the right thing to do rather than trying to play the shot. We saw a, a couple of those yesterday really come unstuck but sometimes it's nice to accept the six feet. You don't want to try and push the limits. And oh. Oliver Becker, unfortunately, this is for a bogey at the path. Oh dear. Just missing too many of those putts at the moment is Oliver Becker. Oh, oh no. No, no. What happened there? De Villiers. 
Looks good. Oh, oh no! Oh. How did that stay that. out? You're joking with pins this thin too. Uh, and hit it absolutely dead center. That's cruel. Just a par, so he will stay at 12 under. Three behind Ustason. Well, whatever happens, he could take a lot of confidence out of his uh, performance out there today. As we mentioned, not in this position too often in his career. Well, very unlucky there. What do you think, John? Not easy, actually, Don, because there's two sprinkler heads about a foot just short of the green on his line, so he's going to have to flirt, flirt with that. Pitch it all the way. Oh. Brilliant. Yeah. Just like that. Eagle, eagle. That's not bad. I wonder what the scorer is going to think when he checks his card. And all of a sudden, Ustazen moves too clear of the pack. Can he go back to back after winning last week at Leopard Creek? Oh, it's worth another look, isn't it? And he's landed that inch perfect, as John Morgan said. Yeah! Had to keep the sprinklers out of play. Beautiful. That's the second time we've seen back to back eagles this week. Well, look at that club face. Oh. Right under it, and that's the risk of trying to hit a shot like that in long grass is that that's very easy to do. Now, that ball has fallen straight down, so now he doesn't have a good lie at all. I mean, there he had a beautiful lie. Look at that, right under it, and the ball's just fallen down into that divot. It's the embarrassment factor too, isn't it? Now, look, it's just sort of fallen down, yeah. Up the hill. The shaper, par five. No, 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 no. Tip, yours, Dom. Tip, exactly. Tip, I'm very familiar with that shot. Tippity tip top. Four. Fifth green, Casey Jarvis with an eagle putt. about that so Jarvis opens his account after four straight pars <laughs> no wonder there's a smile <laughs> started to get interested from about there yeah. oh yes <laughs> great putt Good drive from Casey Jarvis, just shy of the sixth green here, John. Yeah, this is a golden opportunity, Don. He's just shy of it, like you say, on the upslope, all slightly below his stance, but the green slopes towards him. He's got a fancy this one, probably starting this at the left edge. Little camber towards the hole from there. This is for two eagles in a row. Yeah. And he's done it. Two eagles in a row for Casey Jarvis. Wow, how often will you see that? Ever. How often will you do that in a lifetime? That's incredible. Well, I'll hold him one at the, I'll hold him one at the next and have three. <laughs> Should be a gimme. I'm loving your thinking, Dom. And it'll be a, a progression of three, two, one. That would be nice. Imagine when the scorer sees that, he's going to think, hang on a second, somebody's taking the mickey out of us here. <laughs> Let's have another look. Beautifully played chip shot from Casey Jarvis. Right. Yeah. Pace was just right, it just poured into the hole. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.